الله الرحمن الرحيم The connective tissue diseases They are a group of chronic inflammatory autoimmune disorders affecting the connective tissues. They include the lupus erythematosus, the rheumatoid arthritis, systemic sclerosis, and dermatomyocytes. Lupus erythematosus is divided into two main types, the discoid lupus and the systemic lupus. The discoid lupus is the benign subtypes of lupus erythematosus which affects only the skin of the sun exposed areas of the body. But the systemic lupus is a systemic disease not affecting only the skin but also affecting the joints and the internal organs. Discoid lupus may occur alone or in association with systemic lupus erythematosus. Both of them is more common in females around the age of 14 uh, as we said before, it's due to the production of autoantibodies in a genetically predisposed individual, prolonged sun exposure, excessive trauma, and certain drugs may act as a precipitating factors for discoid lupus erythematosus. The lesions of DLE occurs in the sun exposed areas of the, of the body, mainly the face the scalp, the size of the neck, the V-shaped area of the chest, and the back of hands. It may be localized, affecting the sun-exposed areas only, or disseminated DLE, affecting the sun-exposed and unexposed areas as well. It has to be differentiated from the lupus vergaris, which is the TB of the skin, or psoriasis. The discoid lupus erythematosus lesion are well-defined erythematous patches, discoid in shape, covered with adherent scales. On, remo on removal of these scales, there is a dilated follicular orifice with dry keratotic plug, which is called the follicular plugging, acts as black dotting in the center of the lesion. The patch tend to heal centrally first with atrophy, scarring, and dispigmentation. If the lesions occur on the scalp, they cause secretion alopecia. Here are the lesions of the discoid lupus erythematosus affecting the cheek with central scarring. The other photo shows the scales of the DLE lesions in the ear lobule. Another photo showing the central scoring of the DLE lesion with the follicular bragging and atrophy. Another two photos showing the scoring occurring and the dispigmentation of the discoid lupus lesions. Atrophy and scoring and depigmentation affecting the DLE lesions above the eyebrows on the nasal bridge and above the cheek. Usually the lesions of the discoid lupus tend to heal with atrophy and scarring, exacerbation may occur, and progression to systemic lupus is uncommon. The main line of treatment is to avoid sun exposure and use of broad-spectrum sunscreens. Second, corticosteroids by all forms, including topical potent applications or intralesional injections, or systemic steroids for resistant cases. Number three, oral antimalarial drugs as hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine may be used and they are very effective in cases of discoid lupus.